vegan, worthy human. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Among all, heat stroke is the most serious heat-induced illness and can be fatal. It occurs when the body loses its ability to control its internal temperature. Continue watching to find out more. Kun Aksha Bolson means hello. It is a traditional way of greeting others in Karachai Balkar, one of the official languages of the Kabardino Balkarian Republic. Health minded viewers, I'm Yulia. The amiable people of the Kabardino Balkarian Republic wish you a day full of love and peace. Welcome to today's program, Staying Healthy While Working in Hot Weather. Warning, warning! Planet Earth is heating up at an unprecedented rate. According to an ongoing temperature analysis by scientists at the United States National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies, the combined land and ocean temperature has risen more than 1 degree Celsius since 1880, with two-thirds of the warming occurring since 1975, at a rate of around 0.15 to 0.20 degrees Celsius per decade. The data from the United States National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administrations News Polar Orbiting Satellite, which collects information about Earth's atmosphere and the environment, shows that 2019 was the second warmest year ever since temperature tracking began in 1880. There's no evidence that there will be any cooling off in the near future. You might be wondering why we are fussing about a 1 degree Celsius of warming. To answer in short, in the past, all it took was a drop of 1 to 2 degrees Celsius for the planet to enter the Little Ice Age. Imagine how much heat it must take to warm up the entire ocean that covers 70% of the Earth's surface as well as the atmosphere and land for the average surface temperature to increase 1 degree. This continuous raising of the Earth's average temperature is known as global warming. A change in temperature varies the global climate greatly. With unpredictable weather fluctuation, extreme conditions may occur where some regions of the planet will be even colder in the winter and way hotter in the summer. In August 2020, the Northern Hemisphere experienced the hottest August ever and completed the hottest summer ever on record. In the meantime, the Southern Hemisphere which was experiencing winter from June to August 2020, had its third warmest season ever. A conservative estimate from the International Labour Organization's report titled Working on a Warmer Planet, the impact of heat stress on labour productivity and decent work, says that the rising temperatures and increasing heat stress at work will in 2030 lead to the loss of 2.2% of work hours globally. That equates to around 80 million full-time jobs and losses of 2.4 trillion US dollars. This estimate assumes that the global temperature rise will not exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius. The report further points out that the developing parts of the world will be hit the hardest as a larger percentage of the population works in direct sunlight compared to the rest of the globe. With higher UV radiation levels on the surface of the Earth and a decrease in the ozone layer, workers are experiencing more frequent, intense and longer exposure 
to UV radiation, resulting in worsening working conditions for the most vulnerable and a higher risk of skin cancer, skin aging, eye damage, and immune system harm. Workers at risk of exposure to elevated temperatures not only include outdoor workers such as farmers, builders, construction workers, miners, and delivery persons, but also those working in confined hot environments such as firefighters, bakery employees, boiler room staff, factory workers, and many others. Exposure to higher temperatures with frequent periods of heat may result in greater heat stress, leading to several types of heat-related illnesses, such as heat stroke and heat exhaustion, as well as increased susceptibility to chemical exposure and fatigue. Besides external factors, those over 65 years old with high blood pressure or heart-related health conditions on medications that may make them more sensitive to high heat who are overweight or who have never worked in a hot environment before are all more susceptible to heat-induced health hazards. Among all, heat stroke is the most serious heat-induced illness and can be fatal. It occurs when the body loses its ability to control its internal temperature, the sweating mechanism fails and or other factors affect temperature regulation like dehydration and the body is unable to cool down. Symptoms of heat stroke include unconsciousness, seizures, slurred speech, hot but dry skin, and an extremely high body temperature of 40 degrees Celsius or more. Individuals in this condition require emergency treatment right away. Call your local emergency services number and in the meantime, move the person to a shady area or indoors immediately. Give him or her cool water, place them in a cool water bath, spray them with cool water, or use wet towels to lower the body temperature until medical personnel arrive. Heat exhaustion is the next most risky heat-related illness in line. It usually occurs after heavy sweating, where the body loses a great deal of water and salt. Workers experiencing heat exhaustion may have a headache, dizziness, nausea, muscle cramping, an elevated body temperature, extreme thirst, and or weakness. Those with this condition need to be removed from the hot area right away and given frequent sips of water as well as cool water to wash their face, neck, and head. Other heat-induced illnesses include heat syncope or fainting, heat cramps, and heat rash. These are also caused by rising temperatures. To provide a safer working environment, employers should take precautions by, first of all, providing high-quality training for workers to recognize the symptoms of heat stress. They should reserve shady or airy areas for workers to rest, allow frequent opportunities for rehydration and a reasonable number of short breaks. For workers working under direct sunlight, a visor is more breathable than wearing a hat. Wearing loose and lightweight synthetic fabrics while working in the sun also allows heat to be expelled from the body more easily. Nevertheless, these are just temporary solutions. We must mitigate global warming in the fastest possible way to lessen heat-related illnesses and other negative consequences of climate change. Global warming starts when the energy or heat from the sun is trapped in the atmosphere and not radiated out into space proportionally. This occurs when there is an excessive amount of greenhouse gases in the air, which act like a blanket that traps heat in the atmosphere. 
there are four main types of greenhouse gases that are trapping the heat carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and fluorinated gases. A recent research study by the University of Oxford in the UK shows that by removing meat and dairy products from your diet, you are reducing your carbon footprint by up to a staggering 73%. Currently, 77% of the world's arable land is used to grow animal feed or for animal grazing. In Europe, a shocking 60% of the crops grown are fed to animals. 100 calories of human edible grain fed to animals only converts to about 17 to 30 calories of animal protein. Approximately 820 million people worldwide suffer from hunger. That's a significant two-thirds waste of the number of calories that could have been available to end world hunger if the grains had been consumed directly by humans in the first place. Human-generated methane, produced largely by animal factory systems, is another one of the most dangerous greenhouse gases. Per unit of mass, methane is 83 to 84 times more heat-trapping than CO2 over a duration of 20 years and has a global warming potential 28 to 34 times than that of carbon dioxide over a 100-year period. At the end of its lifetime, methane will react with the free radical called hydroxyl and turn into CO2 and end up staying in the atmosphere for centuries. According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, the gas itself is also harmful as it elevates ozone in the air, thus causing shortness of breath and aggravating lung conditions like asthma, emphysema, and chronic bronchitis. Nitrous oxide, generated from producing and using fertilizers, is up to 300 times more potent as a greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. According to a report by the United Nations, the meat and dairy industries account for over 65% of nitrous oxide emissions globally, mainly due to the production of animal feed. There's no easier or more effective way for us Earthlings to take part in saving our planet from global warming than to follow the healthy and animal-friendly plant-based lifestyle. Start today, start now, be vegan, and let's join hands to cool down the planet for us and for future generations to come. Thank you, elegant viewers, for your company today on our program. Up next is Buddhist stories, the hundred-headed fish, the peaceful heaven beings deeds, and the Trayastrimsa heaven gatherings, part 6 of 8, on Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. May you be blessed with a healthy body and a peaceful mind. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash hl. Nos programmes offrent plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique hl. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada hl. Chương trình của chúng tôi cung ứng nhiều ngôn ngữ. Xin xem suprememastertv.com gạch chéo schedule và suprememastertv.com gạch chéo hl. Vegan leader, true life saver.